I am a mum of one and a half year old fraternal triplets and I gave birth to them at 35 weeks and I had to stop work at about 29 weeks and after they were born they spent about three weeks in the hospital before they came home. What that meant is I used a significant chunk of my parental leave before the babies were even able to come home. My question to the panel is, should the Australian government, and we know that they're already looking into parental leave at the moment, looking to reform it, should they, should the Australian government consider um, increasing parental leave for parents of multiples? Well, you know, I'm going Silly. To <laughs> Why <don't> I? <laughs> what do you reckon, Yana? Um, I think that's a yes. Having been, I've obviously have six children myself, and the first four were a completely different kettle of fish from when the twins came home. So I have 18-month-old twins, um, and it's hard. It's really hard, especially when your partner goes back to work and you've got all these little kids at home. So I can't even imagine how she would have done it with triplets. And I have a colleague who's got quadruplets, um, and just trying to manage. She goes through like 120 bottles in a day. Like just the sheer volume of having to look after those small humans is, is excessive. And so if you're trying to go back to work, can you imagine even the childcare payments for those four children or three children or two children? So I think in that aspect, we, I mean, most families don't plan on twins or multiples. And so a little bit of extra support from paid parental leave would be amazing. And I know they're already obviously trying to split the rebate to be able to be, have paternity and maternity leave, but having them conjunct in conjunction and not split, in other words, 40, mm. I think it should be per child, if I'm being really honest. Per child, yeah. 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 Yeah, I agree. I'm a twin and um, <laughs> my mother had us and then two and a half years later decided that she wanted one more. Oh, no. <laughs> you got twins yeah. again. And so <laughs> two sets of twins. Yeah, so exactly. she should still be on maternity leave. You should be, I agree. <laughs> um, but I, look at that. And, I mean, I've got an eight-week-old at home. It's hard. It's really hard yeah. with one. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's not even considered multiples unless it's three, which I've, I read recently and I was like, but that's... Yeah. Not right. That's a it's trick. Order That's a trick. Yeah. Someone should change that. Yeah, exactly. Um, so and so I, yeah, I read that twins don't cost double as much. Oh, they yes, cost they something do. like yeah. five <laughs> yes. times as much. Exactly. <laughs> which I, I couldn't work out. But when you consider, so obviously you've got nappies, you've got bottles, um, you've only got two hands. But I, I don't, uh, then you look at cars, then you look at mm. prams, you look at everything you need to do, um, you're also more likely to have a high-risk pregnancy, to go spend more early. time in hospital, right. to go early. Um, and then you've got these fathers as well who took their leave and um, their children aren't even out of hospital yet. Mm. And so, to me, that doesn't make sense. And it's also... It's about 4,000 Australian families a year, I think. Mm. It's not an enormous amount of people. So when you consider the money and the support, seems like it's something that's totally reasonable and perhaps a loophole that just hasn't it's, been... I, th I agree. It's just considered. been missed slightly. Yeah. yeah. Danielle? Look, I fully agree with all of that. <laughs> yeah, <but> just <laughs> to give about... some context, Danielle, you were on the Women's Task Force on I Economic... Was, and we were looking this at what design you did. of parental leave and I wish I had that question uh, in the lead-up to that because, look, I entirely agree. If we think, you know, what's parental leave there for? Uh, it's for women to recover from birth. And then it's for new parents to bond with their baby, develop those routines, um, you know, work out how to look after these small humans. And when you've got two or three or four, you know, the recovery takes longer. You know, she said you might be in hospital for an extended period. Uh, you just need that extra time. It's not going to be a big impost in terms of cost. It's pretty clearly uh, easy to define. Uh, so, look, I think there's a, there's a really strong case for it. OK. So the three women on the panel say it's a great idea. <laughs> None of the three women on the panel are in the parliament. <laughs> the two men on the panel, just as it turns out, uh. are in the parliament and therefore have some influence, you'd hope. Are you going to do it? Are you going to advocate for it? So what I'd say first uh, is thank you for your question, Celia, and thank you for um, showing off your three beautiful <laughs> children, your three gorgeous children. That you should be doing a better job of funding. Um, <laughs> they're, they're little, little, advocates, little advocates at the moment. Um, but, no, look, uh, paid parental leave um, was one of the, the big items of discussion, and topics of discussion, um, through, through the federal election, and it continues to be one, um, because we know that supporting parents... Um, in that uh, perinatal setting mm. is, is really important, making sure that people have access to the things they need um, when they need it. And that's part of the government's plan at the moment to extend and expand paid okay, parental leave. OK, but to leave. the question, because we've got to move on to our next question, <laughs> is that something you would support? 
multiple So beds? I think at the moment we're expanding that paid parental leave and we have to start somewhere and that's where the government has decided to start at this point. I know you're not the minister, but do you think it's a good idea? That's no, the question. Look, like, I said, like I said, I've, like I said, we I are expanding parental <laughs> leave. Per just personally, um, though. I yeah. think, he, I think yeah. he does. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Well, I, think he does. I just think he can tell us. <laughs> yeah. No, look, I think... It, it, look, it's part of the broader suite. We're looking at expanding paid parental leave. <laughs> Um, but look, there are there are other things surrounding paid okay. parental leave that we would do if we were in a better financial situation. If our economic um, situation was, um, if our if our fiscal situation right. was wasn't an improved. Aaron, state. really quick. Yeah, answer. no, I think it's a, and Jesse's point. Four thousand families, the impact it would have on those families, and the reality that if you're gonna if you have it first, like it's not like it's an extra. It is an extra child, but instead of having your first and two years later mm. you have another exactly. one, you have two twins. The, the four year budgetary impact is neutral in that perspective. So I think when you allow that with 4,000 people, it sounds like it's something that, unless you've got twins, you don't really think about it. It makes right, a so lot of sense. So you'll talk to Peter Dutton about it? I'll have a chat to Peter about it. You know, <laughs> I'll, I'll speak to Anne Rushton, the minister. I'll even I'll write to Mark Butler, the health uh, <laughs> minister, about this issue as well. I'll speak yeah, to okay. him. <laughs> now that was a hard labour. <laughs> Boom, boom, sorry. Um, I know that you think superannuation should be split between couples because women often uh, have the short end of the deal, don't they, yeah. because they're raising children. And there's a, a few of my friends who have actually looked at it and um, worked out that their partner can have their super contributions and share it between the two of them if they're off, which I think is, is quite a good idea because, mm. I mean, but what's good about the policy that's come in is that it is encouraging men and women, if you're in a hetero relationship, to split it, which means that the superannuation is also mm. split and you don't have women who are getting to the end of their careers having been part-time and, you know, taken time out of the workforce, you know, over and over again, really disadvantaged. So hopefully that will mean that it's more of an even gender split.